हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम 1998 क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड इट वाज फॉर टू मार्क्स द क्वेश्चन इज द आइसेंट्रोपिक हीट ड्रॉप इन द नोजल ऑफ एन इम्पल्स टीम टर्बाइन विथ अ नोजल एफिशिएंसी 0.9 ब्लेड वेलोसिटी रेशियो 0.5 एंड मीन ब्लेड वेलोसिटी 150 मीटर पर सेकेंड इन किलो जूल के इज दीज आर द ऑप्शंस सो हियर फ्रेंड्स वी हैव टू फाइंड isentropic heat drop in the nozzle of an impulse turbine that is here friends we have to find delta h isentropic tropic okay isentropic heat drop that is enthalpy drop of isentropic enthalpy enthalpy drop we have to find here and here we have given data as uh, here we have first nozzle of an impulse turbine with nozzle efficiency we have here that is eta eta n is equal to 0.9 here we have then we have here blade velocity ratio blade velocity ratio that is here friends um, blade velocity ratio we have here 0.5 which is given as friends u upon v2 here friends u is u is here mean blade velocity that mean blade velocity blade velocity velocity and v2 is here steam exit velocity steam exit velocity velocity okay okay now friends next we have here mean blade velocity that is u is equal to 150 meter per second okay now friends we can calculate from this this from this we can calculate here this term that is v2 that is steam exit velocity so here friends v2 is equal to u upon 0.5 is equal to u we have here 150 meter per second upon 0.5 which is after calculating we will get v2 is equal to 300 meter per second okay now here friends as we know friends actual enthalpy drop at sorry actual enthalpy that is okay enthalpy the change in enthalpy actual uh, is given as here friends this actual enthalpy change in actual enthalpy is given as friends so v2 square upon 2 okay after calculating we will get answer in joule per kg so if uh, we need to convert it into kilo joule per kg so we will multiply this denominator with 1000 so here now equation becomes v2 square upon 2000 so now let's put the values in this equation so 300 as we know here we calculated 300 square upon 2000 so now delta h delta h actual we will get after calculating 45 kilo joule per kg okay now friends as we know here nozzle efficiency nozzle efficiency efficiency that is eta n is given as here delta h actual change in enthalpy actual change in enthalpy upon actual change in, no sorry h uh nozzle efficiency eta n is equal to actual change in enthalpy upon isentropic change in enthalpy so here delta h up h delta h actual upon delta h isentropic so now let's put the values we have to calculate here this term that is delta h isentropic so let's simplify this equation so here now delta h isentropic is equal to we now here delta h actual upon efficient eta n so now let's put the values 
delta h as entropic now we have here delta at actual we have calculated here this is this one that is 45 kilojoule per kg upon now here we have delta h isentro delta eta n that is nozzle efficiency we have in the question that is here this one 0.9 so let's put this in the equation so here now 0.9 so after calculating this we will get 50 kilojoule per kg so here friends this is the answer for answer for this this is the answer for this question so here friends delta h isentropic is, is equal to 50 kilojoule per kg and and in the equation in the question um, the on the uh, option a is the correct answer that is 50 here so here friends isentropic heat drop in the nozzle is 50 kilojoule per kg so here friends in this in this question we have learned how to find isentropic heat drop of a nozzle of an impulse steam turbine thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you